Twitter has done um, a lot of algorithmic changes that are bad. I've never muted as many people as I get like, I know who people are now because their tweets get surfaced in my algorithm like every day and then I mute them. Like been people that just like, I've, I've followed whole arcs from strangers that just get surfaced in my For You page for some reason. But anyway, one of the great things that it's done is show me lots of videos of LeBron James, even though I know nothing about basketball. You ever see the video of LeBron James and 2 Chains? where LeBron James invents the concept of uh, the double album. And he says, so we put out the album and then like one or two weeks later, and then he goes up to the whiteboard and he writes deluxe album on the whiteboard. And he goes, we come out with like another two tracks. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. And I'm going to go ahead and throw two more tracks on you. It, yeah, that's it. Here's two more for y'all. It's so good the way he's sitting in the chair and he goes... Here's two more for y'all. It's it's so good, dude. You know what? Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for all the banana coins. Here go two more for y'all. So true. I don't know why I find it so funny. What LeBron is saying in the video is not like smart, but I don't know. I just I find him I find him affable. I know almost nothing about LeBron James. So whenever I see him on video, I, I'm like, just seems like an, an an affable guy. You see the the post he made on Instagram, where he was like, he made a doodle of Bart Simpson and said, "I haven't done this in forever," and then someone. Um, I saw it quote tweeted into my Twitter feed. Someone said, this post is really sad. It shows that LeBron didn't have a normal childhood because he was so focused on basketball. I was like, brother, he just drew a picture of Bart Simpson. Doesn't mean that, I'm not saying he had a good childhood or a bad childhood. I'm just saying all he did was draw a photo of Bart Simpson or draw a picture of Bart Simpson. He's the king of corny posts. That's good though, right? Because corny posts are like, they're genuine. Anybody that like only makes cool posts, I'm like, your life's not that cool. You got some corny thoughts. I also do reference um, the LeBron post where he's holding his head like this in his, in his swimming pool and going smiling through it all. Can't believe this my life. I think that's a, a, an all timer. I do, I, I also know the, uh, just watching some Tom and Jerry before school post. That reminds me of like what Twitter used to be like. Twitter from like 2010 to 2013 or so was just like people doing very normal stuff but talking about it. Here's a picture of like my lunch. Here's a picture of like me watching TV. 2014 changed everything and it's never coming back. LeBron is like a meme generator himself. Here go two more for y'all, for example. I know way too much. Twitter algorithm assumes I'm an enormous fan of the NBA for some reason. <laughs> I, I followed the saga of Dylan Brooks from his highest highs to his lowest lows. I've never seen him dribble a ball in my entire life. But I have seen him go... And I have seen him say he doesn't respect LeBron James because he's 40 and then uh, lose the series and then be told that he's not coming back to the Memphis Grizzlies under any circumstance. And then uh, I've seen about a thousand meme images of the commissioner of the NBA saying, get ready to learn Chinese, buddy, which is a really, really funny image. Oh, baby. And his hands are like this. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. The NBA's just got, they got amazing meme potential. I don't know how they do it. Can't go short side on that one. You gotta go cross crease, noted. Get your pocket picked, then get killed. I own you. Oh, what a pass. It's insane, dude, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> The whole play was beautiful. Look at this. 
Greatest saucer pass of all time. Split the D. Tape to tape pass into the one timer. The lobs are actually, they're doing some work. I was skeptical, but uh, I can't deny it. Oh, well, until they hit the back of her skate. I guess I can't be that mad. It's 6 0. <laughs> Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Me speaking to the, the referee goaltender. Did you guys see LeBron James post that Comic Sans photo that said money calling and then he wrote BRB, I gotta take this? I don't watch basketball, by the way, but it's... <laughs> He's just a funny guy, man. You didn't see that? It's like one of the funniest moments I've ever seen in social media. That's Boomer Core. Thank you. Thank you. About to watch some Ted Tom and Jerry before we head to school. Another all-time certifiable classic. That's another great one. I did watch, there was a Twitter thread that was like 10 times LeBron James just fucking lied on camera. And then it was just clips of LeBron James telling I mean, not, not harmful lies, but just like, just making stuff up. Like he was on like ESPN somehow talking about soccer. And then he's like, oh yes, when I was in England, I had the opportunity to go to like the, to see your football club play. And then the, they were like asking him questions about Liverpool. And he was like, yeah, I don't really, I wasn't around for that, but I, when I was there, I had the opportunity to see you, you all play, and I, I just really respect like what you're doing over there. You own 2% of Liverpool. How does that come about? I read about the, the, the franchise and, and, and how uh, amazing it is, um, you know, and I actually made a trip over, uh, you know, to Liverpool as well and, and, and see all the sites and, and the arena and, and everything. Um, so it was pretty, pretty unique. Yeah, Crouchy is actually a Liverpool legend. He used to play there. I don't know if you knew that. No, I knew that. I didn't get an opportunity to see him play when he was with the club, but I definitely knew I, I definitely knew that. The current captain, uh, Jordan Henderson, just scored his first goal for England the other day. It was uh, amazing to see you fan of his. No, absolutely. And I saw and I, I saw a clip of that, too. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to actually see the game live, mm. but um, I saw that he was able to score one in the, in the, in the match the other day, and I thought that was... Uh, it's pretty unique, the fact that he would do that and also be with Liverpool Football Club. <laughs> the Godfather the Godfather one I forgot about. And I I'm really must stress, I know basically nothing about LeBron James's playing career. I only know him as a celebrity, basically. This is a question uh, not related to the game, but since uh, it has been a lot of publicity uh, yesterday and today about Godfather Part 2, which is the, uh, the scene or, or the moment or the phrase or the quote you like more from the movie? Oh, from The Godfather. Uh, um, it's, it's too many different phrases uh, and too many different lines in that movie to just uh, categorize one. Um, but which is the one which inspires you? <laughs> Represent you more. I mean, each movie is nine hours long. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, there's so many. I don't know. I'll let you pick one and I'll roll with it. It's, it's a great trilogy. But him saying that he watches The Godfather like once every few months, and then a journalist said, what's your favorite quote from The Godfather? And he's just like, oh, you know, there's just too many to mention. And the, the journalist was like, like, really, like just any quote from the movie would be fine. And he's like, I just can't do that like I just I, I mean how, how could you possibly do that there's so many he's just I, I don't even mean it in a negative way it's just really funny yes Jonathan Bernier uh, ex NHL goaltender did indeed he was asked how he felt about Nelson Mandela and what did he said something like I never had the opportunity to play with him but from what I hear he's like a, he's an NHL legend or something like that He's a tremendous athlete. Oh, man. Just, just wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously Nelson Mandela, one of the most significant historical figures of the, of the 20th century. What, what knowledge or awareness did you have of, of him growing up, or when did you learn of him? Well, obviously growing up, you, uh, 
He's one of the, the most known athletes uh, in the world and uh, a lot in pack in any kind of sport that he did. And uh, that I, you know, even playing hockey, uh, everyone knows him, right? From, from being the type of person that he was off the ice and, and on the ice. And it's so unfortunate that he passed away a year ago, but, um, you know, he, he changed a lot uh, while he was with us and he's, uh, he's a tremendous guy. Uh, I just think the way uh, he met that is, you know, to me growing up playing sports and my parents was something really special because I can share, uh, you know, being, try to be a leader, uh, you know, try to share things and, and things like that where, uh, you know, as a, you know, when you're a group sport, you need to do that, right? You need to be uh, as one and I think that's what he met and, um, you know, I think, uh, Sports is very pow powerful. A lot of people obviously love to play the game. It can be hockey, basketball, football, and every, a lot of people watch that. And I think that's uh, that's kind of the message I personally uh, got from that. That's another classic for sure. Oh, well, it's like there's a lot of stories of hockey players not being that intelligent. You don't. I don't expect them to be smart. I don't mean that. Like they shouldn't expect me to be good at hockey either. At least I got one thing. I'm good at nothing, brother. I got I'm not even good at video games. I spend like all week playing them. It's crazy. Do you see the video? Um, I mean, it, I think this happened in the NBA a long time ago. But the dude tried to inbound a ball and it hit another player in the face. It knocked his goggles off. And then LeBron James put on the fallen goggles and stared at the dude whose goggles got knocked off. Being thrown in and hit him right in the Ooh. face. Breaks the goggles. Yeah, that, it was LeBron picked up the lens. So the lens is LeBron. LeBron puts the some shield. <laughs> My whole Twitter feed is just LeBron James videos, man. It's so good. It's crazy. <laughs> I missed out on like 20 years of this guy being silly. They, they post that clip so often. I've seen a lot. The one of him on HBO, and the guy says, like, my father used to always say, like, whether you... He's, he made up, like, a bespoke quote that has never been uttered in history before, and then LeBron says, yeah, I know that one. Actually, that's my favorite saying. It's so good. Yeah, I, I had one coach, um, and he used to say, put yourself in situations where you're not, in, you're not comfortable. Oh Play yeah, that's my favorite saying. Um, that's my favorite saying. Yes, he lies a lot. It seems like it, but they're like funny lies. Like he's just lying like for no reason. Which I think is probably something you should not do, but is also like very hilarious. This one hurts. Or does it? Or does it? Pancakes? Pancakes? Oh! Now that's a 10 piece! Oh!